Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to Bam Bam Print. My name is Nick. In today's tutorial, we're going to be learning how to add text to an object and even more specifically text on the surface of an object, adding negative text to cut out of an object and how to add text flush with the surface and print it in a different color. This tutorial is going to be short and sweet, so let's get started. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is make sure that you're in object mode over here next in the uh, process sub menu. Once you switch to the object view, you're going to be able to see each individual objects and basically what it's going to do is group them once you add text to it. So use the text tool right up here, click on it, or I recommend learning all the different shortcuts because it's going to make your life a lot quicker and easier when you start to use Bamboo Studio a lot more. So the shortcut for text is T. So we'll just click on T and it's going to open up the text menu. The fonts are going to be the different styles. These are going to be pulled straight from your system font folder that you have on your computer. We're just going to pick one of these right up here. Once you pick your font, you can go ahead and input your text. Once you input the text that you want to add to your object, you'll notice if you scroll your mouse over the object, you're going to see it along the surface. If you uncheck the surface option that's right here, it's going to just, it's just going to float around and not wrap itself around the object itself. So I'll just make sure you have surface checked and then we can make some adjustments. I'm going to place it right here. We're going to bring the gap spacing in and that's just basically the space between each letter. I like my fonts nice and close together. Something like that's going to be great. And then you can add an angle to it. So if you want to, you know, change the angle left and right, just by sliding this cone left and right, you'll be able to spin the text around 360 degrees. That looks good right there. So we're going to go with that. That's the basic text onto the surface. Now you can actually add additional text to it um, as well. So let's go ahead and do that. So if you want to add additional text, just unselect the object by clicking anywhere in this gray space and then select the object again. And then now you can add an additional text. Input your text, add in the options that you want, font, the size, and then now you're ready to go. So I think I'm going to go with that right there. We're going to pull the gap in just a little bit, increase the size. And now you have two different text layers added to the object. And the next feature on our list is going to be adding negative text that's going to cut into the object. So I pulled in this little ring over here and we're going to and we're going to cut into the side of this object with the text. So select your object, push the letter T on the keyboard or click the text shape button here. Select your text and we're going to give it a 22 size and we're just going to call this one bam again, bring it around. You can always adjust your text by clicking on the purple cube as well. So once you have it placed, just right click on your text or over here on the left hand side, you can see now that once you switch over to the objects menu, it will group your shapes together. So we've got our shape and we've got, we got our shape, which is called the ring. And then we have our text. You can click on it here and we'll, and it'll highlight your text. If you right click on it, go change type. Oh, I also wanted to let you know, you can actually right click here on the text, change type, and we're going to make it negative part. Once you do that, you can see that it changes to like a transparent look, um, but we're not done yet. What you want to do, go back into your text menu and you want to basically tell Bamboo Studio how, how deep you want it to go into the text. It's not going to push it in. It's going to basically take the backside of the text and dig it into the, the object itself. So we'll put three millimeters here. Once we slice it, now you can see the text is actually cutting out the object. So the next feature I want to show you is going to be this horizontal text feature right here. What we're going to do is we're going to add another block of text. And if you use this horizontal text, you'll notice the text right now is basically laying flat um, with with the camera. If you use this horizontal text, it's going to actually follow the surface of the object now. All right. So the last feature that I wanted to show you was how to add text flush with the surface and be able to print it in a different color. What we're going to do is use this ball as our object. We're going to select our text again. We're going to add our text block and we're going to place it right on this ball. Use the horizontal text so it wraps and follows the ball. Um, and then what we want to do is change this to a modifier. And you can either right click straight on the text or go over here on the left hand side panel, change text, and we're going to change it to a modifier. So once you do that, you can see now it changes color. And what we want to do is change the filament type. If you have an AMS setup, you can add your filament in here and then you would just change your filament type to 
number two. And so now the next thing we need to do is tell the slicer uh, how deep we want this text to go inside the object um, and flush with the surface. So if we give it a three for depth and then slice it, now you can see the text is going to be flush with the object itself. And just go down here and you can see we the, the depth of three shows it's three layers or three millimeters inside the object. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial on how to add text to the surface, how to cut into the object and then how to print text flush with an object. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel and I will see you on the next one.